Hey there everyone, this is Hugh from Plaguelands Media bringing you another board game playthrough. This time, The Batman Who Laughs Rising, part of the Rising series of games that consists of Star Wars Rising, Thanos Rising, there's even a Spongebob Squarepants Rising if you can fucking believe that shit. Anyway, uh, this game is really great. I'm a huge fan of The Batman Who Laughs, uh, a character that was created by Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo back for the Dark Knights storyline. For those of you that are not familiar with it, Batman has basically discovered this metal that he has come across that is linked to what is known as the Dark Multiverse. The Dark Multiverse, of course, being a mirror of our multiverse in the DC Universe, of course, where uh, all the rage and anger and hatred of humanity has kind of given birth to this almost like a multiverse of pure evil. The Batman who laughs, this character, is uh, Bruce Wayne from Earth-22, I believe. Don't quote me on that, however. And in this Earth, the Joker has discovered Batman's identity as Bruce Wayne and he's gone around and he's murdered all of Batman's rogues gallery. He's even killed Commissioner Gordon. Naturally, Batman wants to uh, bring the Joker in. Uh, during the ensuing fight, the Joker is killed, but that death releases Joker toxin, which Jokerizes Batman. He has all of the intelligence and the brains of Bruce Wayne all the psychopathic rage of the Joker. What ultimately happens, he murders all of the Bat family, Nightwing, Batgirl, all of them, Jason Todd, but he takes his son Damian Wayne and makes him an evil Robin uh, as his minion. Now, what he will uh, ultimately do is he will hunt down all of the um, other versions of himself on various worlds and these versions of Batman have stolen the powers of the Justice League. So there's a Batman with the Speed Force of the Flash. There's a Batman with all the powers of Superman, known as the Devastator. There's a Batman who uh, is cyborg, uh, effectively, called the Murder Machine. And he hunts them down and recruits them for his dark god, Barbatos. Now... What ultimately ends up happening is... Six hours later. And so the heroes then have to go into the Dark Multiverse in uh, various teams led by Wonder Woman, led by Batman, led by uh, Hawk Girl, led by the Green Lantern, and find and destroy Barbados. Excuse me, that took a really long time. Okay, so, with all that background out of the way, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't. You'll make the 22 other people very happy. I've heard that they are quite lonely. Subscribe button down below. Please check out Plaguelands Media on our website, www.plaguelandsmedia.com. You can visit Ian Van Gamet on Instagram. You can uh, go to Amazon, check out some of our books. Uh, we have eBooks up there. Ultimately, uh, you know, we do do this for fun, but it's great to give a little back to you, the viewers as well. So without further ado, let's get this fucking shit to the table. Okay, this is a setup and playthrough video for The Batman Who Laughs Rising, part of the Rising series of games. You can see we have kind of everything on the table that we need to play. <clears throat> so, first thing we do is we get our board here with the numbers 1, 2, and 3 on it, and we put that in the middle of the table, we get our lovely 
Batman Who Laughs miniature. Really beautiful sculpt here. And we put him in the center and we randomly determine which position he is going to be facing. I'm going to be using my Ghostbusters dice to determine. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he will start facing the number two position. Once we have done that, we choose our characters. For a solo game, you should be playing with two. So today, I have picked rather fittingly Batman on the Determination team and Hawk Girl on the Justice team. This shows you how many dice you start with in your dice pool. She has one Justice and three Power, and Batman has one Determination and three Power as well. And there's uh, special abilities that are both pretty much the same, just in the form of healing. Once you have your characters, you go through the deck of cards and get out your hero card. Here I have Batman. He has six. He can take six damage, and Hawk Girl can take six damage. And their ability is if you have another determination uh, on your team. You can roll an extra determination or a power dice, and Hawk Girl is the same, but with justice. And I will just put those uh, there. You might not be able to uh, see them at the moment. Then we are going to take our deck of cards that have the Batman Who Laughs Rising written on the back of them. We will give them a shuffle, like so. I have sleeved uh, these cards. I, I don't usually sleeve um, games, but this game I've been actually playing a lot and I don't want these cards to get damaged. This game is a lot of fun, if brutally difficult. Then we put them out one on each side. So in number one, we have Nightwing, a GCPD officer, and the Evil Robins. Uh, for number two, we have Hawkman, Plastic Man, and Robin. And number three, we have Duke Thomas, Green Arrow, and Blue Beetle. And I'm just going to put these cards here. The next thing we do is we have to set up our Dark Knights track. If you're playing a three or four player game, you would use the purple side for a one or two. You use the yellow side. And what you have to do is match up the triangles in the corner. So there's two green. I'm not sure if you can see it. There's two green. And then we have yellow to yellow and blank to blank. And I'll put these here. Like so, that is our Dark Knight's track. Then we take our Dark Knight's cards. You can tell they're Dark Knight's cards because there is no text on the back of them. We have the Batman who laughs here. He will always go in the last position face down, covering up the special ability. And then you'll take the rest of them shuffle them and put them face down as well. Now the Dark Knights, for those of you that don't know the lore, are evil versions of Batman, Bruce Wayne, who have who has stolen uh, the powers of the Justice League. So there is one that has the power of the Flash, one that has the power of Cyborg, one that has the power of Superman, Aquaman, um, Wonder Woman, so on and so forth. Take all of our bonus tokens in this uh, beautiful bag from Gablinko. You can hear the bonus tokens in there. We take our team token 
put it with our cards. We have our dice here, our damage counters, our yellow cubes for the Dark Knight's track, and we are set up and ready to go. Now the back of the rule book has a really good uh, legend that shows you what each dice has. So the Batman Who Laughs dice, we have L, R, and a ha ha ha. This is basically how he's going to turn on the board. This is pretty much the same with, very hard to see, left, right, and ha, but they have his mask symbol around it. This means that whatever the last ability on this track is, he is going to trigger that ability. Then we have our yellow dice, which is the Dark Knight's dice, 0, 1, 1, and 2. This is how many uh, yellow tokens you're going to put on the track each time you fill one of the tracks here. So we have 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4. That Dark Knight will then come out onto the board uh, and be causing problems. And then we have our power dice. You can see we have power, one, one, and then a two symbol, one, one, one. It's the same for justice, purpose, and determination as well. So basically, if you look at the dice, the determination dice will have more of a chance of rolling the Batman symbol. The justice dice will have more of a chance of rolling the Hawk Girl symbol. So there is some form of uh, strategy involved here. Now that we have set up, we can get into playing the game itself. I'm just going to Okay. So, I'm going to use Batman as our first player. Batman wants to recruit for his first turn, basically he wants to recruit a determination or a purple character. And there are three out on the board. Uh, Nightwing has an ability, once per turn you can change the Batman symbol to any face, very handy. Duke Thomas, if you have a Justice character, you get to roll an extra Justice die. And Robin lets you get bonus tokens. I think I am going to try and recruit Nightwing first. So I move my token to the number one space on the board. Then we have to roll the Dark Knight die and the Batman Who Laughs dice to see what happens first. And I put one yellow token on the track and I got an L so he is going to actually turn to his left which is here this means that he is going to wound every hero here and because I'm here as well he is going to wound all of the members of my team which at the moment is only Batman there is a villain here the evil Robins. If the Batman who laughs is at this location, he is. Add a damage to all uh, purpose and justice heroes at this location. We currently have one, which is the GCPD officer. So he gets another damage token. Now, there are three ways that I can lose this game. I can lose this game if the Dark Knight track uh, over there fully fills up with yellow cubes. See we have one yellow cube uh, just here. That's one way to lose. Second way to lose is if every character on one of the players teams either determination or justice, if every character is uh, taken out you lose. If ten heroes are defeated as well, then you lose. One thing to note, on the Evil Robin card, there are 
spots here for two damage. You need to do two damage before you can take him out, but on a turn, you can only ever do one damage to a single uh, villain. So it would take two turns to knock him out. Now, I have to get my dice pool ready. Batman gets one determination and three uh, power dice. I'm looking for uh, determination or a purpose symbol. That's the green arrow, uh, the green lantern's lantern. Okay, I got one and one. When you roll your dice, you have to assign at least one dice to a card. You can assign more, only ever to one card at a time. If you cannot assign dice, then you just remove one from your dice pool and you roll again. Um, I can assign a Wonder Woman symbol there and a Green Lantern there. Doesn't doesn't do anything. Okay, so now we check to see if we have recruited any heroes. We have. So we take Nightwing. We remove all damage tokens from him. And he goes on our team. So I now have Batman and Nightwing on the same team. Pretty thematic. We see if any character is fully damaged. They are not. We check to see if one of the... Um, one of the tracks here for the... Dark Knights is fully covered. It is not. We then replace our empty spot with Deathstroke. The Terminator needs four power symbols and two um, justice to recruit. And you can exchange a power dice for any of the other colored dice unassigned once per turn. We put him there, we take our token back, and we move on to the next player. So, Hawk Girl likes the look of Duke Thomas because she has a Justice character already, and he likes Justice characters, so I'm going to go there. I'm going to get my dice pool, which is one Justice, three Power, Um, okay. I don't really want to waste these dice, but I'm going to anyway. I'm going to assign my two dice here. So now to get two Batman symbols. There's only one on each of these dice, so it's a bit of a long shot. Nope, didn't get it. But I'll just assign one and one. So I didn't recruit anyone. So that was a completely wasted turn. Of course, I forgot to do this first. I apologize. Okay, so. Two yellow cubes go on to the track one and two the batman who laughs is going to move to his right bringing him around there he is going to damage hawkman he is going to damage plastic man and he is going to damage robin as well now I did get the Batman who laughs symbol, but as there is no uncovered ability, that doesn't trigger. Okay, so my turn has ended. I didn't recruit anyone. That should have been done at the beginning of the turn. I apologize for that. We don't have any fully damaged character. Now, we do have one track filled. So we take this card and we put it face down on the top of the deck so the next time I recruit uh, a hero then that Dark Knight is going to actually 
come into play. And we also have our first ability here. We add a damage to at least to the least damaged hero in each player's team. Not good at all. We take our token back and we move on to Batman's turn. What does Batman want to do? Um, going after Robin might not be bad. Plastic Man. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll go to two. I remembered this time. He's going to move to his right. Damaging... Blue Beetle, Green Arrow, and Duke Thomas. And we have to put one yellow cube on the track, which means at the end of this turn, another Dark Knight is going to be put on top of the deck. The way we actually win, all of the Dark Knights have come out. This track is full. Here and then we have until the whole thing fills up to defeat the Batman who rises. He takes four damage to defeat him. Okay, my pull. One determination and three power. Robin has the ability where if I roll that symbol, sorry, Nightwing has the ability. If I roll that symbol, the Batman symbol, I can actually change that to any face. I'm looking for two, uh, what do I want to get? What do I want to get? Um, all of them look pretty good actually. I'm over at number three. Plastic Man, Robin's ability lets you draw bonus tokens. Plastic Man lets you heal, very handy. And Hawk Man, you can use bonus tokens as any face. So, let's see what I got. Um, I can actually recruit Robin, or I can try for Plastic Man, because healing is really important. Uh, I'm going to go for Robin, actually. And then... Okay. So we look to see if we've recruited anyone. We have. We now have Robin on our team. And if we assign a determination symbol, we get to draw a bonus token. So Batman basically has the Bat family coming along very, very nicely. Okay. No fully damaged characters. One track is full. We put this face down here, and then this is going to fill this spot. We have the Merciless. This is um, Batman who basically, from the Dark Multiverse, who has the powers of Wonder Woman. Has an ability, if the Batman who laughs is here, added damage to all heroes in the clockwise adjacent location, and he takes three damage to take out. Take our token back, and we move on to Justice. Um, I really like Duke Thomas, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get Duke Thomas. I'm going to come to space one. All our dice. One yellow cube added to the track. He moves to his left. Doing Hawk Man, one damage to Plastic Man. And triggering the Merciless's ability. Which is going to deal one damage to... Duke Thomas, one damage to Green Arrow, and one damage to Blue Beetle. We also, because we got the symbol, Batman Who Laughs symbol, 
Bonus tokens may not be drawn or used this turn. That is the latest uncovered ability. We get our dice pool, one justice, three power. Okay. Okay, I want to get a purpose symbol, the Green Lantern, which I did not get. And once again, Hawk Girl doesn't recruit anyone. Uh, this track isn't full, no one's fully damaged. That's the end of her turn. Okay. I might go here and see if I can take out the Merciless with uh, some lucky dice rolling. No cubes um, put on the track, but he's going to move to his right, which is going to damage Duke Thomas. This is not good. Green Arrow takes his last amount of health and Blue Beetle takes another one okay okay I'm gonna put three Wonder Woman power symbols on Plastic Man not going to do any good. So we check to see if we've recruited anyone. We have. We now have Plastic Man on our team which means once per turn we can heal. But that does mean another Dark Knight is going to come out. We check to see if we have any fully damaged characters. We do. Green Arrow has been defeated. I'll just put him there. Okay. Not fully covered yet. So now we replace the Dark Knight is the Drowned, the power of Aquaman. If the uh, Batman who laughs is at this location, added damage to all heroes on the active hero's turn, but it only takes two damage to kill. And then we get another villain, the Court of Owls. Um, fantastic storyline from the new 52 uh, Batman comics created by Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo. If the Batman who laughs is at this location, add a damage to all determination and purpose heroes, of which there is one that will actually take out Duke Thomas. And then we get our token back. We need to get Duke. Okay. So we get two yellow tokens, completely filling up another space on the board. The Batman who laughs is going to stay here, so Duke Thomas is going to take his last amount of damage, Blue Beetle is going to take his last amount of damage, and Hawk Girl gets hit for one. And because we have the symbol, the Batman who laughs symbol, our bonus tokens can't be drawn or used this turn. Okay, come on, lucky dice. Gotta save one of these two. One, two, one. This, I have a one in six chance of saving Duke Thomas. This needs to be a Batman symbol. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Okay, didn't recruit anyone. Check to see if we have damaged heroes. We do. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
They are Duke Thomas and Blue Beetle are now defeated. So that is three of ten. Okay, we look to see if a track is full. It is, so this goes on the top of the deck. We now refill. We get the Murder Machine. This is Batman with the power of Cyborg. If the Batman who laughs is at this location, add a damage to the most damaged heroes on all players' teams. And we get, ooh, the flash. You may assign extra dice to assign more than one damage per villain turn. So you can hit a villain more than once. That's awesome. Take our token back. Batman, he's coming here. I want the flash. Batman seems to be doing pretty well. Hawk Girl at the moment is, uh, dare I say it, I'm not being sexist. Fucking useless. Get back in the kitchen. That was a joke. Ha 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 ha. Okay, one yellow cube. Goes on the Dark Knight track. He is going to move to his right. He is going to damage GCPD officer and Deathstroke. Evil Robins are going to damage the GCPD officer. And we have to add another counter to the Dark Knight track because of the Batman Who Laughs symbol. Okay, get our dice pull. Plastic Man, uh, once per turn you may remove uh, damage from any hero. I'm going to remove it from the GCPD officer, giving him a little more time. Um, okay, that was absolutely nothing that I needed. Um, Alright, well, I'm going to assign that to the murder machine. You know, I could have used Nightwing's ability there, but I missed it, so I'm not going to retroactively go back. Okay, and... That's a useless guy. So, check to see if I have recruited any heroes. I haven't. Have I damaged any villains? I have. I damaged the murder machine, which means... I get to draw... The bonus token, which is a power symbol. I can use that at any time on any player's turn, but not on the turn that I actually drew it. Okay, is the track full? No. No one needs to be put on there, so we just get our token back. And we move on to Hawk Girl. Hawk Girl is going to try and recruit the Flash as well. No, Hawk Girl's going to come and try and recruit the GCPD officer. Okay, one yellow cube, which fills up another track here. He moves to his left, damaging the flash. Okay, the murder machine says... Add damage to the most damaged hero on all players' teams. So Batman, who has one damage, takes a damage, and Hawk Girl, who has one damage, takes a damage. And the Court of Owls added damage to all determination and purpose heroes at this location. The Flash is a power hero. There isn't any. Make our dice pull up. Okay, two Justice. Okay. okay, we recruited the GCPD officers and we get the... Let's put that there. Okay, have we recruited anyone? Yes, we have. 
I've just been realizing as well for Batman, I should have been rolling an extra dice this whole time and I just haven't been doing that. The GCPD officer, if a villain is at your location, roll an extra determination die. But we have our second justice hero. So, um, Hawk Girl's ability kicks in. I'm really sorry that I completely forgot about Batman's uh, ability to roll an extra dice. I don't think it would have changed anything, however. Uh, plus, we healed the GCPD officer. So, looking around, there is no fully damaged heals, but we do have a full track. Card goes on the top. It is my most hated of uh, villains, the Red Death. So basically, if the Batman who laughs is here, <coughs> pardon me, um, you have to roll the Dark Knight dice twice, so it just fills up much quicker. It is really important to get rid of him um, very early on. We take our token back. Okay, have to get rid of the Red Death. It's a priority. First thing is... First, though, Plastic Man is going to heal one damage from uh, the Flash. No, from Batman, because Team Batman. Okay, so we have our Power Dice, but this is something I haven't been doing. If you have another Determination Hero, I actually have two more. I get to roll an extra... Um, determination or power. So, looking at the Red Death, you need two um, purpose symbols and two power symbols. So I'm going to choose an extra power die. Okay. Wait a second before I roll that. I have to roll these dice, I completely forgot. Two yellow cubes go on the track. He is going to move to his right, which will deal one damage to Deathstroke, one damage to Batman, Nightwing, Robin, and Plastic Man. Uh, the evil Robins, there is no purpose or justice characters here, so he doesn't trigger, but the Red Death triggers. So I have to roll this dice again um, and resolve it, but if I roll the two cube symbol, then not only do I put two cubes on the track, but everyone on my team uh, takes a damage. And I did roll the two cube symbol. So I put two yellow cubes on there. Batman takes another damage. Nightwing takes another damage. Robin takes another damage. Plastic Man takes another damage. I can't use Plastic Man's ability. I already used it at the beginning. I do have uh, this bonus token I can use, however. A two power and I'm going to use Nightwing's ability to turn the bat symbol into any other symbol mm, can't do anything with these so I'm going to put one there and hope I roll a Batman symbol so I can use Robin's ability which I don't doesn't really matter. Okay, did I recruit anyone? No. Did I damage someone? Yes. I damaged the Red Death. Got to get him off the table as fast as possible, which means I get to draw a bonus token, which is another power. We check to see no one's fully damaged. Is the track full? Yes, it is that on there which uncovers a new ability, not a good one either. And that is our turn over. Hawk Girl now. She's got a bit more of a chance. 
Ah, uh, what do we need? We really need to get rid of the Red Death. I don't have a choice. Okay, one yellow cube. He is going to move to his right. Dealing a damage to Hawkman. The Drowned uh, ability <coughs> says... Damage to all heroes on the active player's team. The active player is... Justice, so Hawk Girl and GCPD Officer. Take a hit. And the Merciless... Deal damage to all heroes in the adjacent clockwise direction, so that's the flash. And because we rolled the Batman Who Laughs symbol, added damage to all heroes on the active player's team, so that means Hawk Girl takes another one, and the GCPD Officer takes another one. Okay, building our dice pool, one Justice, three Determination, I'm going to take another power dice for Hawk Girl and the GCPD officer. There is at least one villain, so I get a determination dice. So you can see this is how your dice build up. Okay. I'm going to assign one there. I'm going to use Batman's two power symbols there to save dice. Okay, we hit the Red Death. Um, let's go after the Evil Robins. Uh, get rid of that. Okay, fantastic. Check to see if we have any heroes that are... Recruited, we don't. Did we damage anyone? Yes. We damaged the Red Death again. And we damaged Evil Robin. So we remove those. Uh, is a track full? It is not. Because we damaged two villains, we actually get two bonus tokens. Power and a yellow dice if we want to use it. These tokens just get discarded. And that is our turn over. Okay, come on. Let's get rid of this red death. Not having much luck with these dice today. Two yellow cubes. He moves to his left, which means Deathstroke takes a damage, Batman takes a damage, Nightwing is fully damaged, Robin is fully damaged, Plastic Man takes another damage, and we have to resolve uh, this ability, add a damage to all heroes on the active player's turn team. It's Batman and Plastic Man. Okay. Well, Plastic Man's going to use his ability to remove one damage from Batman. It's not going to do much good, but there you have it. Batman gets three. I'm going to take another power dice. That's four. That's five. And I'm going to use the token to get a justice die. Okay, two damage there. I'm going to use night. Got the power symbol we needed. There. Put you 
you there. And I'll assign you there so I get an extra uh, damage token. So, did we recruit anyone? No. Did we damage someone? Yes. So we get a bonus token plus one for plus one for Robin's ability. So we got a two determination tokens. Okay, now we remove. Oh, I forgot to do the Red Death's uh, ability. Which would have put two more cubes and damaged everyone again, but that's not going to matter. Okay, fully damaged. The Red Death is gone. Fully damaged. Plastic Man, defeated. Nightwing, defeated. Robin, defeated. One, two, three, four, five, six of ten. Is a track full? Yes, it is. We put out the Dawnbreaker. This is Batman with the power of Green Lantern. The Batman who laughs is uh, at this location, remove the damage from all our villains. Okay. We take our token back. And then we move on to Justice. Okay. Let's go here, see if we can't recruit the Flash. Roll our dice. That is two yellow tokens. He moves to his right. Dealing a damage to Hawkman. Uh, one damage to Hawk Girl, one damage to GCPD Officer, and one damage to the Flash for this ability. Okay. Hawk Girl. Dice. One extra power. There is a villain. So we get one determination. Recruited the Flash. Um, Hawk symbol there. Okay, I'm going to use her ability to heal one damage from herself. And that doesn't really matter. Okay, did we recruit anyone? Yes, we did. We get the Flash. You may assign extra dice, so I can basically damage villains more than once. Did we damage? No, we did not. Is there a full track? Yes, there is. So, the Batman Who Laughs now comes out. To defeat him, you have to hit him four times. Either three purpose, three determination, or three justice to defeat him. I'm just going to put him here. And then we fill the roster with Devastator. This is Batman with the power of Superman. Okay, how do we hit the Batman who laughs? We have to be in his space, and then we can attack him. If we, um, to get to his space, we are either there, if we get lucky, or unlucky as the case may be, or we can discard one dice and we automatically can move to his space. Uh, Batman is in a bit of trouble at the moment, so I need to recruit. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of nine spaces are, um, are villains. 
Okay. Roll his dice. He stays where he is. That's going to take out Hawkman. One cube goes on the yellow track, which means we only have four turns, well, maybe, to defeat him. Add a damage to all heroes on the active heroes team. And there's no heroes there. Okay, Batman. Back to basics because his team got wiped out. Hit Dawnbreaker. I'm going to use that to heal one damage from myself. Uh, okay. So we used our tokens. We didn't recruit anyone, but we did hit the Dawnbreaker for one. And that was a completely wasted turn, because I'm a fucking idiot. <clears throat> okay. And I just dropped a little cube on the floor. That's always good. Justice. Let's see if we can't get Hawkman or hit the Batman who laughs. Okay, he's going to move to his right. We get no yellow tokens on here, but this does a trigger. Active player must assign one damage to any hero of their uh, on their team for each villain card in play. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <sighs> okay, now we're going to do all of these. Most damage heroes and all players' teams. So Batman is going to take another damage. The Court of Owls doesn't trigger because there are no heroes here. If the Batman laughs, add two damage to any one hero adjacent to Devastator. Which would be Deathstroke. Okay, things are not looking good. One, two, three. There is a villain here, so I get an extra dice. I need to recruit. I can't. Um, I can't wait around. Two, three, one, Batman. Okay, did we recruit anyone? Yes, we did. We recruited Hawkman. Um, is anyone fully damaged? Yes, they are. Deathstroke. Hawk Girl, GCPD Officer, and the Flash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we just lost the game. The Batman Who Laughs is victorious. That is basically how the Batman Who Laughs Rising works. It is brutally difficult. So if you Want a game that you're going to win frequently? This is not the game for you. Incredibly thematic, a lot of fun, a lot of dice rolling. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your weekend. And we will see you all later. Bye, everyone.